Oh god, I'm so sick of studying. Oh my god, I can't believe Sean's getting this test done. Right here, we'll just, we just have a couple more left. Okay, let's do this one right here. Um, a baseball diamond is a square whose sides are 90 feet long. Uh, suppose that a player running from second base to third base has a speed of 30 feet per second at the instant when he is 20 feet from third base. At what rate is a player's distance from home plate changing at that instant? Mm. Ooh, 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 ooh. What's up, Mr. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, 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 you. <laughs> Yo, Mr. Showman, I'm sitting in math and I ask myself, can I really do this problem all by myself? This really ain't hard and I can do this right. Related rates will make this problem be no fight. Begin with Pythagorean theorem. X squared plus C squared will yield the sum. 2090, those squared is 8,500. Then you take that number, take the root of it. Y is 92.2, so now we know. Set this up, take derivative, catch my flow. X squared plus Y squared equals Z squared. Derivative that these numbers I'd like to share. DX 30, X 20, DC 0. Plug this in and the number we will get will show. DY negative 6.5 feet per second. That's the answer to the rate and that's the end of it. So what's the rate you ask? Let me tell you. The run is from will play the rate of change, bro. Really wasn't so bad. If you think like that, you'll do it better than Shulman. Rat a tat tat tat. Let's do related rates. Calculus isn't hard this way. Let's do related rates. Oh yeah. Calculus. Oh 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 my. Let's do related rates. It's from chapter three. Calculus isn't hard this way. Let's do related rates. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's true, man. Oh, I get how to do it. Here, watch. This is how you do it. So first you use Pythagorean theorem and you square 20 plus 90 squared equals c squared. And so you get 8500 uh, equals c squared. Take the true root of that and you get 92.2 as c. Then you use find the derivative of a squared plus b squared equals c squared. You use these, this equation and you plug in the numbers to get negative 1200 equals 184.4 equals uh, dc over dt. And to find dc over dt, divide those and you get negative 6.51 feet per second. Oh, I get it. Okay, uh, here, we'll do one last problem. Um, Alright, here. A spherical balloon is to be deflated so that its radius decreases at a constant rate of 15 centimeters per minute. At what rate must air be removed when the radius is 9 centimeters? Hmm. So sit right down and listen to what he has to say. Read this problem, it's not too hard. It's not too bad, put down your guard. They're asking for the rate of change of volume in the balloon. You know I can't do this, it's much too hard. And showman's cruel for assigning it. No, that's not true, the picture that I drew will lay it all out for you. Use related rates, for thus my heart cute. It's the equation we use, take derivative for the change in volume.
In radius is 9 we see Solve the equation, it's not that hard For thousand eight hundred sixty pi centimeters cubed per minute, yeah Now that's the answer, yes we got it, I told you it wasn't very hard to see So we know the volume of the balloon is 4 thirds pi r cubed. So we want to take the derivative of that, which would be dv dt is the change in volume compared to time, and that's 4 pi r squared dr dt. We know r is 9 and dr dt is negative 15, they're both given in the problem. So we plug those values in and we get the answer is negative 4860 pi centimeters cubed per minute. So that's the rate. Oh, alright, cool. Alright, is that it? I don't know. Yeah, I, I get it. What were you thinking? I guess I wasn't thinking. <laughs>